This is where Moses is, you know, God. Moses and God are, are, are having a conversation. Amen. God is petitioning Moses, mm -hmm. telling him, look, I, I need for you to go tell Pharaoh to let my people go. It's time for him to let them go, you know, so they've been out of my will for long enough. Go I've, I've heard them crying. Yeah. So it, I, I need somebody to be strong enough to go in there and, and tell him. But where we pick up at chapter 4 is, and this is the thing that I, that I, that I got um, from chapter 4. How many times have, you know what I'm saying, you've been sitting around and God has, has already shown you your destiny. Mm -hmm. He's already Amen. given you your instructions. Mm -hmm. He's already told you where you go, go who you need to talk to, but you still it. sit there and you're making excuses. Mm -hmm. Amen. Lord, help. You're making excuses. Mm -hmm. Somebody dropped out of high school, but then they don't want to listen to their mom and daddy and tell them, look, man, all you got to do is go get your GED. You can skip that part and keep going. Amen. Amen. Somebody got in college and got pregnant, you know what I'm saying, bumps in the room. We hit bumps in the room. Amen. And the thing is, is whether or not, you know what I'm saying, you're going to be strong enough to go over the bump. Go or, with you it. You know what I'm saying, you're going to be that person that's going to sit there and mm. look at the bump like it's a mountain. Yes. Amen. And, that, and that's where, you know what I'm saying, where we are here with Moses. All God is telling him to do, man, all I need you to do is just <clears> follow <throat> these instructions. Amen. Follow these instructions. In the third chapter, he had already told him, he's look, man, I'm going to be with you. I'm not going to leave you. Have faith. Just Amen. stand on what I'm saying. Go with it. Amen. We're right here. Uh, we'll start in uh, verse 2. In uh, Exodus chapter 4 says, And the Lord said unto him, What is in thy hand? And he said, A rock. And he said, Cast it onto the ground. And he cast it on the ground, and it became a serpent. And Moses fled from, from it from before. And the, and the Lord said unto Moses, Put forth thine hand and take it by the tail. And he put forth his hand and caught it, and it became a rod in his hand. When I read this section, I think about, I don't know Michael Jordan saved or not, I don't know what his salvation is, but I, I think about you know, Michael Jordan sometimes. Because all Michael Jordan really started out wanting to be was a great basketball player. But do you think that he had ever known or that his destiny was to own a part of basketball? <laughs> <laughs> all he wanted to do was just play. And so I'm thinking in my mind, I was like, all right, okay, we got Michael Jordan in his backyard. And he's out there. You know, shooting on the, you know how we used to do back in the day. We'll take oh, a yeah. bicycle rim, nail it up to a tree, <laughs> and put some wood around it for the backboard. Even half the time, we wouldn't even put a backboard up. We just nope. put a rim nailed to a tree. <laughs> so I'm thinking, all right, okay, Michael Jordan in the, in the backyard, you know, shooting on his little, bass, on his little uh, bicycle tire rim. One day, God shows up and he tells him, look, man, I want to make your name great. Mm. And then Michael's like, man, how? Go with it. And then God said, what's that in your hands? Mm. Mm. Go with it. Mm. So many times God will come to us and he'll use what's already in our hands. Yes. Amen. Go with it. He'll use what's already in your hand, whether it's that pen for you to write that book. Go ahead. Whether it's that, that typewriter or, or, you know, thing, like I said, a basketball, whether it's the, uh, uh, this microphone. Yes. Whether it's a hockey stick or football. Hallelujah. Mm. He says, I want to make your name great. Mm. So what's that in your hand? So Michael Jordan cast the ball on him. He says, throw him on the ground. Michael Jordan cast the ball on the floor. And the first thing he sees is his biggest fear. Mm. Mm. You see your biggest fear. If it's writing books in your life, you cast that pen on the floor. The first thing mm. you see is that publisher that's going to slam the door in your face. Go ahead. That's good. That's good. Mm. But then God tells Moses, Everybody who knows, if you know anything about snakes, you don't grab a snake by his tail. That's the Dang worst God. possible place <laughs> that you can grab a snake by. You, it, anytime I've ever seen people pick up snakes, they'll trap the head and grab it by the head, not by the tail. You got closed out on the mouth. So this, 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 this is showing that, okay, right here in the beginning, you know, Moses is, yeah, he's scared, but, you know, I'm talking to God. So yeah. let me go ahead and step out a little bit. Let me grab it. He, he grabs the tail. 
So at this moment, you know, it's just like you know, last week when the, when the pastor was teaching about getting into the game. Yes. Right here, you know what I'm saying, Moses is being trained for the game. Yes, go ahead. Because what, what God was going to send him into, God had to had to show him some things. Yes. God don't want you, don't want you to to uh, to get into a situation and he perform a miracle and you jump around and hooping and hopping with the rest of the people in there because of them saying they because of the miracle was being performed. He wants you to be cool. Amen. He wants you to be cool you because you know what? The, the thing that's going to happen if, if, if the people are receiving to the miracle, they don't want to come to you and be like, "Who is this God?" Go ahead, say? tell it. Amen. What must I do to be saved? Yes. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? You have to go. You, you're going to have to go through a series of things as you're going through. In order for, you know, that, well, you're going to have to go through a series of things as you're going through what you're going through to get to your destiny. Amen. But, you know what I'm saying, we still, you know what I'm saying, God is going to train you in a sense where he's going to show you already what he's going to do. Go with it. Amen. So bring it to you. That's all. Amen. Amen. We'll start at the six verses. And the Lord said, furthermore, put into him now thine hand into thy bosom. And he put it into his bosom. And then he took, he took it out. Behold, his hand was leprous as snow. And he said, put in thy hand into thy bosom again. And he put his hand back into his bosom again and plucked it out of his bosom. And behold, it was turned again as his other flesh. And it shall come to pass that they will not, not believe, neither hearken to the voice of the first sign, that they will believe the voice of the last sign. And it shall come to pass that they will not believe also these two signs, neither hearken unto thy voice, that thou shalt take of the water of the river and pour it upon the dry land. And the water which thou takest out of the, the river shall become blood upon the dry land. Here, he's still in training. God is building his faith. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look, Moses, look, I'm going to do some things. Amen. Amen. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to do some things that are going to be kind of unusual. Mm -hmm. So, you know. Here, here's one more sign. Go with it. Here's Amen. one more thing that I'm going to do for you. Here, put your hand. Then you put it back. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to build you up because I'm going to do these things. I'm going to perform these signs. I'm going to perform these wonders. I need you to stay cool Amen. under the pressure. Go Amen. With it. That's good. And then here he gives him more instruction. Amen. He said, but look, man, this is the game plan. This is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. He's I'm going to perform these signs and these wonders. I'm going to perform this other side and this one. And if the people still don't hearken to it, if he still don't let the people go, he said, this is what I'm going to do. So he's already telling Moses, right, he's, he's giving him the instruction. He's giving him the instruction. And, 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 and most times, you know, when we're going through and we're, we're, we're heading towards our destiny, God has given us the instruction. That's why it's so important, you know what I'm saying, that we build a relationship with God to a point where, you know what I'm saying, that, that, that we're able to hear him and, 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 and also building a relationship with him to a point where, you know what I'm saying, we're spending enough time with him where we're able to understand that each and everything we're here is he's saying. Amen. Because so many times, God will get, oh, just like a, a casual conversation with a person, Go we're ahead. here out of the conversation what we want to hear. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's we're true. here out of the conversation what we want to hear, but Amen. then we'll miss the most important part. Go mm -hmm. ahead. That's right. I received some prophecies. I'm just going to be honest with you. I received some prophecies from some prophets. I heard out of that prophecy what I want to hear here, and I ran with it. Go ahead. Tell okay. the truth. And even though they were giving me some other instructions, they were giving me, hey, um, but first, this is what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. But first, you know what I'm saying, you got to do this. All I heard was what was going to happen. Go ahead. And I took off shot. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but, you know, and, and, and I missed all the all Go ahead. Stuff. And this is, you know what I'm saying, what God is doing. He, he's training Moses. He's, he's got him the training. He's, he's feeding, the, he's feeding him the instructions here. That's right. Go ahead. But then, chapter 10, it says, Moses said unto the Lord, Oh, my Lord, I'm not eloquent. Neither heretofore nor since thou hast spoken unto thy servant. But I saw, but I am slow of speech, and I'm a slow tongue. Mm. They go another excuse. <laughs> yep. I'm feeding you, I'm training you, I'm giving you instructions. Yeah. You're supposed to be believing me, and you're coming back with another excuse. Go with it. But you know what? 
Moses told the biggest lie he could have told right before God that he could have told. Because in uh, was it Acts, the seventh chapter, the twenty-second verse. I'm gonna tell you what it said. Y'all can turn to it and read it just so you'll know that I'm not, you know what I'm saying, trying to trying to bamboozle you. But this is actually the seventh chapter, the twenty-second verse says, Moses was learned in all the wisdom of the Egyptians and was mighty in the words and in deeds. Say what? <laughs> now how is it that you can be all of this there, but then all of a sudden, man, you can't talk. God you can't speak. Do so. That's right. That's you can't good. talk. You can't do nothing. That's good. But I've also, you know, come to learn over the years that well, I had a teacher back in college tell me, you know, well, hmm. I was a computer science major in school, and you know, the first thing that he told us, he, he said, you learn this uh, this language. He said, if you don't use it, you'll lose it. That's right. Oh, yeah. So either Moses would tell him one of the biggest lies that he could tell, or either by him just being out in the wilderness for all that time, hiding from the, the Egyptians because of what he had done, mm -hmm. he just lost it. Mm. That's good. He just lost it. Mm. But I still think he was just uh, coming up with some flip. Oh, yeah. You know, <laughs> I'll be myself. <laughs> That Moses will fake it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and right here in the 11th chapter, it says, And the Lord said unto him, Who hath made man's mouth? Or who maketh the dumb or deaf, or seeing or the third, the seeing, or the seeing or the blind have not I told, not I the Lord. Now therefore go, and I will be with, with thy mouth, and teach thee what thou shalt say. Here again, God's telling, look, man. I already told you I'm going to be with you. Amen. Amen. I already told you I'm going to be <clears throat> But then in this 13th chapter, really, I mean this 13th verse really was against me. Yeah. And it says, and he said, oh my Lord, sing, mm. I pray thee by the hand of him whom thou wilt sing. Basically all he told God, he says, look man, I don't want to do it. <laughs> Send somebody else. Send somebody else. Mm. And you know, when I, and when I read that, I the first thing I thought of was jump in with. <laughs> same, same situation. God told Jonah, look, man, I need you to go and deliver this message. But the bad part about it is, Jonah was even willing to die mm. not to give that message to the people. Mm -hmm. But the bad part about it, God went in the midst of the belly of the well. Pull him from the belly of death. He said, now go do what I told you. Amen. Amen. So what made you think that what God has already set before you to do, what he's already set before you to accomplish, mm. that you're not going to do? Go with it. Because he's going to get the glory. Mm. He's going to get the glory. Amen. Amen. And, you know, and, and, and the thing about it is, all God wants to do is make your name great. Mm. Amen. Amen. If you think that, 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 that Moses had come to the realization, man, God wants to put my name on the billboards. He, he wants mm -hmm. my name to be heard around the world. If, if he really had grasped that concept mm. Amen. of what God was trying to do, mm. Amen. do you think that he would have said, send somebody else, I ain't going. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. I ain't going. He told Abraham, he says, man, I want to make your name great. He says, I'm going to tell you a, a, a place that I want you to go. You just go there. He says, I'm going to bless you. I'm going to make your name great. Mm -hmm. He says, I'm going to cause you to be able to bless other people. He says, I'm going to cause those people to bless you. Amen. Amen. And he wants to make our name great, y'all. Yes. Amen. Isn't that not exciting that he wants to make go your name great? Go ahead with it. That's Even if it's just what you're not wanting to do, he still wants to make yes, your name great. Yes, he does. Go with it. He still wants to make your name. Yes, that's right. Mm. I'm going to skip around a little bit here. But even in the midst of him wanting to make our name great, as you can tell, read a little, a little further down. I'm going to skip over that a little bit because I don't want to be a bit before you too long. I still want y'all to be able to, to grasp that concept of, you know, to give you a little time to, to go home and, and, and really just think about, all right, where did I, where did I fall off the tags? Amen. 
you know, did I act like Moses and tell God, you know, mm, go with it. Did I act like him? And tell them that, you know what I'm saying, just go find somebody else mm -hmm. to do it. No, no, that's your task. That's your assignment. Go with it. You know? Do it. Did you make excuses? Because mm -hmm. all I'm reading is excuse after excuse. Why you ain't cleaning your room? Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't cleaning your room? <laughs> How you do your homework? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Instead of just saying, I just didn't want to do it. Be honest. That's right. <laughs> that's true. That's true. At least Moses did do that. Yeah, he told that's right. I just don't want to do it. That's right. <laughs> Amen. God loves honesty. But right after this, it says that he angered God. Mm -hmm. He angered God. Not too many people that I know of that's in this book that anger God Ooh, to live to tell the story. Know? <laughs> true. But what he did was give yeah. for Moses. He was so adamant about Moses doing Go what he it. needed for him Hallelujah. to do. He gave Moses a way out. Go so with every it. time Moses made an excuse, he says, okay, I'll fix it. So he Go with it. it. Tell it. That's right. Amen. And, and, and if you think, if you really think about on your, think back in, onto your situation and where you went wrong at it is, God is still making the ways, coming up with different ways for you to complete the task. That's right. Yes, he is. He's making that possible. This is a win-win situation. Woo! Hallelujah. Man. Tell it, tell it, tell it. That's a word right there. Mm. Mm. Thank you, God. Win-win scenario. <laughs> mm. Mm. Amen. That's the truth. Can't lose with mm -hmm. the stuff we use. You can't. Amen. <laughs> And you know, just like I said, just you know, for that for that simple situation, he sent Aaron. He says, "Look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get your cousin Aaron in here. He's well spoken. He's a smooth talker. <laughs> Aaron's smooth. He can talk He's to you." So basically, what God is telling, He says, "Look, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give you the words. You give the words to Aaron, and Aaron speak to him." And you know what? The thing is. I'm assuming Moses thought at this point that Aaron was, you know, man, Aaron cool. Aaron gonna help me. But you know what? He didn't know that Aaron was probably gonna be one of the biggest storms in his side. Mm -hmm. Cause did not Aaron form the uh, golden calf for the people to worship by? Mm -hmm. Yes. What kind of help is that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> We'll start back at the 18th verse. It says, And Moses went and returned to Jethro. This was after he had already realized, you know what, God? There's no way that I'm going to defeat you. There's no way that I'm not going to do what you tell me to do. Because every time I may come up with an excuse, you're going to come up with a way to make the excuse the truth. <laughs> right. Amen. Ain't no way around. No so, way. Then, you know, Give up, and this was one thing that I kind of I kind of just pondered on. It says, Moses went and returned to Jethro, his father-in-law, and said unto him, Let me go and pray thee, and return unto my brethren, which are in Egypt, and see whether they be yet alive. And Jethro said, said to Moses, Go in peace. 